In part three of our prove it notes, we're going to prove our opposite angle identities. Now off to the side, I'm actually going to create a little diagram that will help us in deriving these opposite angle identities. So I have a unit circle here with theta and negative theta. Now just by referencing this diagram, I can actually arrive at two of my opposite angle identities. When if I look at the sine of negative theta, I realize that that's just the opposite of the sine of theta. So there's one of my um, opposite angle identities. Now if I look at the cosine of negative theta, the cosine of negative theta is the same as the cosine of theta. Um, so here are the two um, opposite angle identities. Now if we want to arrive at the, our third, I'm just going to start with the tangent of negative theta and using our identities from above, I can define that as the sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta, so it's just the uh, ratio of those two. And then because I've already established that the sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine theta, I'm just going to use substitution there. And the cosine of negative theta is the same as the cosine of theta. Whoops. Now negative sine theta over cosine theta is just negative tangent theta. And therefore we have our third identity, the tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tan theta, so the opposite of tangent theta. So here are your three identities for your opposite angles. I'm just going to box these. So that's so far our 11th identity. Actually, I think it's our 10th, sorry. Our 10th identity, our 11th identity here. And now our 12th identity. Okay, so that very brief um, proof here is uh, going to conclude part three for opposite angle identities.